Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a set B, which is a subset of set of complex numbers and we have to represent it in a complex plane. So B is a collection of all complex numbers which satisfy this condition. So let us start to discuss that condition first. What we have, we have mod z plus 2 is equal to mod z minus 1. So in this case, what we do, we replace z by x plus i y, which is a Cartesian form of a complex number. So I'm going to replace z by x plus i y. Let us see what will happen. Mod x plus i y plus 2 is equal to mod x plus i y minus 1. Let us collect real parts and imaginary parts. So here real part is x plus 2 and the imaginary part is i y. Here the real part is x minus 1 and imaginary part is i y only. Get it? Imaginary parts that means a term having i okay, as a multiple and real part that means without i. So I am applying the definition of mod. So the definition of mod says square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. Same definition I will apply here. So x real x minus 1 square square of real part square of imaginary part. To remove square root of both sides, I will take square of both sides. If you take square of both sides, we will have simply x plus 2 square plus y square and here x minus 1 square plus y square, right? See, uh, I am going to expand the bracket, x plus 2 bracket square. We are familiar with a formula, a plus b bracket square formula, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let me mention the formula here. a plus b bracket square formula is a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b bracket square formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So I am going to use those formulas here. So the first formula for first bracket, right? So x square, so 2 into ab that means 4x and b square that means 4 plus y square and second formula for second bracket x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square. So now tell me what can we cancel from both sides? x square x square will get cancelled from both sides. y square y square will get cancelled, right? So the remaining terms are here in left hand side 4x plus 4, in right hand side minus 2x plus 1. So let us, let us collect all terms of x on one side and constants on another side. So let us do that thing here. Okay. See, so I am shifting minus 2x on this side. Then we will have plus 2x. 1 is already there. I am shifting 4 on that side. So minus 4. So we will have here 6x and here we have minus 3. Let us divide both sides by 6. So x is equal to minus 3 by 6. That means x is equal to minus 1 by 2 by cancel, cancelling 3 from numerator and denominator. So x is equal to minus 1 by 2. It represents a line parallel to y-axis and passes through x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Get it? So let me mention here. It represents, it represents a line parallel to y-axis and passes through, passes through a point. So that point is minus 1 by 2 comma 0. So let me show in this diagram. So here 0, here is minus 1. So minus 1 by 2 will be here. So this is a line. This is a line parallel to y-axis and passes through this let me draw properly. Okay. Yes, it looks better. So x is equal to minus 1 by 2. That means that b is a set of all points on this line. Getting b is a set of all points on this line. So in this, re in this way, we have represented the given set b on a complex plane. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.